Hi everyone. I wanted to create a short demonstration of using the normalized burn ratio, NBR, in Climate Engine. So we've added NBR to two remote sensing datasets, Landsat, both surface reflectance and top of atmosphere, as well as Sentinel-2, top of atmosphere and surface reflectance. So if we go to Landsat, we'll find NBR under the vegetation opt group here. And so if I click NBR, uh, then we can start mapping the normalized burn ratio. I want to go to a location here in northern Alberta, southwest of Fort Smith. And this is a location that burned earlier this year. And so uh, I'm going to create a median composite map of NBR over the last 30 days from June 16th to July 15th. And it'll take just a moment. I'm not speeding this video up or anything. It's, it's really uh, quite fast. And we'll see this fire that occurred during that, or uh, we'll, well, we'll see this footprint for this fire that occurred earlier this summer in terms of NBR. Now, what we can do to get a differenced NBR map, a DNBR map, is use this difference from average condition calculation that's available in Climate Engine. And so what this is going to do is we can take the last 30, day data, 30 days of data for this year and compare that to any other year range, the same dates for any other year range that we might be interested in. And so in this case, I just want that date range for 2022. And so when we compare uh, 2023 to 2022, we'll get this difference NBR map showing essentially fire severity over this area. Now we can dive in a little bit deeper using the graphing functionality that's available in Climate Engine. And so here I'm going to create a summary time series, which is going to give us the summary over our date range for each year uh, that we select. That'll become more clear here in a moment. And I'm going to use a polygon to just draw kind of a polygon around this area that burned. Um, and so what this is going to do is we'll get a single data point averaged over this area for each year from 2000 to 2023 in terms of NBR. And so when we run that, we'll get kind of a nice fire history over that period, or at least an, an indication of the fire history over that period. And so we can see that uh, up through about 2014, things were pretty stable in terms of NBR. And in 2014, there actually was a fire. The MODIS burned area product uh, also shows a fire for, for this location during that time. And so this area burned this year and then recovered to a fairly significant extent, at least in terms of N, uh, NBR. And then this year we can see uh, that it burned again. And so there are a lot of different ways that you can start to use Climate Engine to, uh, to kind of easily create these DNBR maps, time series of NBR. Uh, you can overlay, um, you know, you can add another variable to your, uh, to your chart. We have uh, dozens of climate data sets and different variables in terms of drought. And so we can look at what conditions might have led to these types of uh, fires. We can look at uh, how vegetation has responded through time after these fires. And so there are a lot of things you can do. If you start using this, please let me know. I'd love to hear uh, first about any bugs that you might find or uh, how you're using this and how you see it being useful. So thanks very much. Enjoy.